name Miss Lejeune. My name is Jennifer and I'm your nurse today. We're going to be performing an assessment of your peripheral vascular system. Okay, we'll begin by assessing your arms. First, we're going to look at, a, perform a visual inspection. We're going to look at the color and we're going to look at uh, the temperature of your skin and then also assessing for equality in the circumference of both of your arms. So both of your arms are warm, the skin uh, color is even, and the circumference is equal as well. So that's our visual inspection. While we're doing the visual inspection, we're also gonna watch uh, and assess your capillary refill. We press down on the nail beds to watch for the color change, and this should occur within less than two seconds. And yours uh, do. So nice capillary refill on your hands. After assessing, performing the visual inspection, we're now going to palpate. We'll begin by palpating your radial pulse here and then on this arm as well. We palpate these at the same time so that we can assess for equality uh, and rate of those pulses. Nice strong pulses, they're equal in both arms. We'll now move down the arm and assess the brachial pulse. The pulse right in the bend of your elbow. Very nice. We'll assess the pulse on this side. Good. And then we're also assessing um, or palpating for any nodules or lymph nodes. Normally, in a normal assessment, we would not feel those. And on your arms, I do not feel any lymph nodes. Okay. After we've performed the visual inspection and the palpation, the last thing we're going to do is perform an Allen's test. So I'm going to ask you to make a light fist, squeezing your hand, and I'm going to palpate your radial and ulnar pulses and occlude those arteries. Now I'm going to ask you to slowly open your hand, okay, observing the color. And when I release the pulse over your ulnar artery, I observe it as the color change returns back to normal. And it did very quickly. We'll do this hand the same way. Go ahead and make a light fist. Very good. And slowly open it. And we'll release the ulnar and see the pink color immediately return back into your arms. So this completes the assessment on your arms. Next, we'll move into assessing your legs. First, we begin with a visual inspection, looking at the color of the legs and also the hair patterns. We're looking for any uh, variations in the hair patterns or thinning because that could indicate arterial insufficiency. Uh, shiny skin as well can indicate that there's arterial insufficiency. You also wanna inspect for any ulcers or sores on the legs. We'll look at over both of them, assessing for that. If you had a sore that had smooth edges, it can be an indication of arterial insufficiency. Sores that have rough edges, rough uneven edges, could indicate venous insufficiency. Once we've put, completed the visual inspection, then we're gonna do some palpation. So first, we're looking for, or assessing for edema or fluid in the legs. Over the bony prominence, prominence of the leg, you'll press with your thumbs and watch for the refill in the skin there. You can even come down onto the feet, pressing, just to make sure that there's no indentations. We would measure uh, edema from a plus one to a plus four. Um, edema can indicate other problems within the system, circulatory system, um, or congestive heart failure. We also check capillary refill just as we did on your fingers. Okay. Now we move into palpating your pulses. So we'll begin up here. We're going to palpate your femoral pulse. Have you slightly bend your knee, relax your leg, and we palpate here. You're assessing the strength of the pulse, the rate and the rhythm. We'll do the same thing on the other side. We'll let you gently rest your leg and we palpate. Should be a nice, strong, bounding pulse. As you're pal uh, palpating there also, you want to listen over the femoral artery. You're listening for any bruise. And in a normal assessment, you should not hear any sound over that artery. If you hear a swishing sound, that sounds like a bruit, and it can indicate that there's some um, atherosclerosis in the arteries. After assessing the femoral pulses, we move down the leg. We're going to assess the popliteal pulses. Have the client slightly bend the knee and palpate behind the knee. Sometimes these can be hard to palpate. 
You can use a Doppler so that you can listen for the pulses if you're unable to palpate them. Okay. After palpating there, we move down to the bottom of the foot and we're going to assess the dorsalis pedis right here on the top of the foot. You want to assess these at the same time, palpating together. Uh, you're assessing for strength equality um, between the two pulses. All right, and those feel good. The very last thing we're going to assess is for arterial insufficiency. We're going to do a little test. I'm going to hold your feet. I'm going to have you raise them up off the bed a little bit, just the, above the level of the heart. We hold it here for just a minute. And you can see the color changes a little more pale as the blood flow uh, doesn't reach the feet as easily as before. And after we hold that for just a moment, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and sit up. And we're going to bring your legs down over the side of the bed. And we're watching for the blood flow to return and extend down into your feet. And it does very quickly. If this color remains pale, it could indicate that there's some... Um, arterial insufficiency in your legs. All right, this completes our assessment of your arm and leg. Thank you.